Monday of the fifth week of Lent reflection. My dear friends, yesterday uh, we reflected how the sinful woman caught in adultery was saved by the Lord. And sin is darkness and Jesus is the light. So today, the continuation of the same episode where the Lord is saying, I am the light. I am the light and those who, I am the light of the world, whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. My dear friends, so light and darkness. So in, in light, earlier it was in dark, the world was, all, world was in darkness and he became the light with a new creation. So that woman who sinned in darkness was brought to light with Jesus' love, my dear friends. And today he's saying, I am the light. And in darkness, what happens? You hide things. In darkness, things are not visible. Things are hidden. Details are not, details are not manifested. So this is exactly what happened in the story, story of Susanna. These particular old men, though they were judges, the word clearly says they were judging, I mean, uh, according to the people's, uh, they, were, they were cheating. They are not true judges. And what happened? And they perverted their minds and turned away their eyes from looking to heaven or remembering righteous judgments. They look at Susanna with lustful eyes. So their age does not matter. Their experience does not matter. Once you, once you hide things, it will grow in darkness. So they are they are, they are the symbol of darkness, my dear friends. Their minds were darkened by lust. And uh, so they, they make judgments in, in lust and they, they, they take all the steps in lust. Now, Susanna, on contrary, my dear friends, he was, he was Joachim's wife named Susanna, daughter of Hilkiah, a very beautiful woman, and no one feared, and one who feared the Lord. Her parents were righteous and had taught their daughter according to the law of Moses. So, light was the word in Psalm 119, Thy word becomes lamp unto my word. Thy word becomes lamp unto my path. So she was brought up in light. Though she was beautiful, she was so God-fearing. Beauty can distract people. Beauty can attract people also. So that beauty of that, this particular woman can be a darkness most of the time. Beauty Beauty, though it is skin deep, becomes a darkness in many people's life. They are darkened by that beauty and they make other people's dark, put into darkness with their beauty. But then this particular woman was brought up in light. And, and when she was trapped, my dear friends, when she was trapped, uh, because it speaks about a witness, these two old, two old men goes to the pond where, where she was bathing and, and she, when the servants went inside, the, the gates were locked and then they blackmailed her, telling, we have two witnesses. We will tell that you, you slept with a boy, young man, if you don't sleep with, her, with us. But then Susanna had the choice. To, to, to sell her purity, fall into sin, fall into the same pit of darkness and save her life. But then, she is a woman who feared the Lord and who, who had the light of the law, the word of God. And she opted to die, my dear friends. And then she shouted. And then when she shouted, 
They said, we have seen um, this woman with another man. Since there are two witnesses, two witnesses, their accusation is, accusation that they, they consider the witness is more of great importance than the accuser or anything else. So that's exactly the same, same, same terminology is used in the gospel today. The Pharisees say, you are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true. For I know where I come from and where I'm going. But you do not know where I'm coming from and where I'm going. You are judged according to the flesh. So this is exactly the sign of darkness. When you are in flesh, you will lose the light of the spirit. So they could not see the Lord. That old men could not see the righteous, the judgment of God. They were blinded by lust. So that's exactly. And then he said, I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law, it is written that testimony of two people is true. See, this is exactly why those two, two old men, old men's life, judge, judge, testimony was stronger than Susanna's. She was alone. The servants were not there. And my dear friends, so she was judged, sentenced to death. But, and, but then her prayer was strong. In the, in the, in the verge of death, what happened? Their eyes were turned away from heaven. And Susanna and she weeping looked up towards heaven and said, Lord, you know what is right. So their, their false allegation, you know about it. And my dear friends, how God arose a Holy Spirit of a young lad, young lad named Daniel. So Daniel was persuaded by the Lord to speak for Susanna in the, in the Seneca, my dear friends. So my dear friends, so that's exactly how Jesus, Jesus saved that particular woman caught in adultery. The Lord is saying, I am the light. I have come to save the world, brighten the world. Her, her, her life was darkened by lust and light of the Lord. Light of Jesus eradicated that lust from her life. And with love, light, love became the light in her darkened, lustful life. And exactly that's how, that's how, my dear friends, she was saved. And Daniel, Daniel was man with light, man with the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is light, and spoke. It's a beautiful story. And he separated the two old men and said, according to one person, under which tree you, that woman uh, uh, committed adultery? And one he answered, under a mastic tree. Under a mastic tree. And then he separated the other one and asked, under which tree she slept with that young man? Under an evergreen oak. So they were contradicted with true trees. Susanna's life was saved because of a tree. But then Jesus saved that woman's life and Jesus became the light with the tree of cross. He was crucified there and hanged on a cross to lighten the world, to eradicate darkness. A, a lamp will never put under a bed or cover it we keep it on a lampstand and that's how cross became that stand lampstand jesus became the light lamp and the light of the world think about it have a nice day may god bless you